Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing the lippy tag, talking about our best or favorite lip products ever. And this is in collaboration with Yachty Beauty. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist and esthetician, and I now have an online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one consultation where we talk about any and all things beauty. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personalized makeup lesson, or if you have questions about your skincare, it's totally up to you. So if you wanna make an appointment, please click the link in the description box down below. So as I mentioned, this is in collaboration with Yadi Beauty. She is a fellow makeup fanatic here on YouTube. I know she loves brands like Tom Ford and Natasha Denona. Those are brands that I've sort of dipped my toe into, but I'm not well versed in them. So if you like luxury beauty, beauty and high-end beauty, she's definitely a very good resource because she has really great taste in makeup and all things beauty, but she might not necessarily use the exact same products that I'll be using today. And I also know that she's a really big Dior fanatic, just like me. I know she went out and bought multiple different Dior eyeshadow quints, you know, those beautiful five shadow palettes that came out in the fall. I know she did a whole series on those, so please go make sure to check out Yadi's video today. So Yadi approached me because she is doing something called the 12 Days of Collaborations. It's sort of a spoof on the 12 Days of Christmas, and I am very honored to be the first on her channel for this extravaganza. So we picked the Lippy Tag. Now this was originated by Lisa J and Mrs. Melissa M Beauty. So this tag is essentially just a way to talk about our best, our favorite, our most reached for lip combinations. In the original tag, they definitely talk about lip combinations, so lip liner, lip glosses, that sort of thing. I don't have that many lip liners, but I'm still going to showcase the best of the best. So without any further delay, let's dive into the lippy tag. Okay, so the first question is favorite nude lip. So for this one, I will go ahead and include a lip liner. This would have to be for me the Chanel Longwear Lip Pencil in Bois de Rose. This is just a really perfect nudie pink and the texture and formula of these is so creamy. Then the lipstick would have to be the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Fawn. So when I first got this, I thought for sure it would be too light or too pink or too something. However, it's probably hands down my favorite nude lipstick. Let's go ahead and show you both of these in action. So as I said, this is just a really easy nude pink. So as you can see, this just melts into the most beautiful lip combination. The pinky lip liner just sort of melts into the lipstick. You don't really see the lip liner that much. It kind of just melts together. I do find that the lip liner helps define my lips, but the lip combination doesn't clash with each other. It just sort of melts together. So for me, this is my perfect nudie pout. Okay, next question is favorite bold lip. Now for me, this was the easiest question. This is the one that I already knew hands down. This is my Chanel Rouge Coco number 440 Arthur. Arthur is a really beautiful, bright, orangey red lip color, and I love orangey red lipsticks, so this was just the quickest choice for me. So this is Arthur, and what else is there to say? It's just so flattering. I love warm toned lipsticks, especially bright, bold, orangey red ones, and this is no exception. I've owned this for years. I will definitely get a backup. It's just, it's so nice. I wear it all the time in the summer when I want a bold lip, and the texture of the Rouge Coco formula is really nice. It's really creamy, it's really hydrating. It's just such a perfect lip color. Okay, question number three. Worst trendy lip you used to wear all the time? So I feel like this could go 
many different ways. There have been many questionable lip trends over the years. Um, I can think of like the concealer lip that was popular using like a black liner to line your lips. That was really popular in like the 2000s. Overly drawing your lips, that was really popular up until recently. I think for me, the trend that I think back on that I regret that I participated in the most would have to be like glittery metallic lips. I didn't necessarily wear this all the time, but of all the bad trends, this is the one that I did participate in the most. So here I have the Dior, Dior Addict Lacquer Plump in the shade Disco Dior. I think the name says it all. It's this bright fuchsia disco ball glitter. Let's go ahead and show you. Ooh, yeah, there we go. I would like to point out that I actually kind of like this. Like, I don't wear this outside. I don't really wear this for anything other than a video. But if I just look at my lips and nothing else, I'm like, hmm, that's pretty. It's sparkly, it's purple, it's like a glowing disco ball. So I do find this pretty. It's just a lot to wear, and this was definitely trendy a few years ago. I wouldn't wear this today. I definitely wouldn't keep this on. I will remove it immediately after I'm done filming. But yeah, it's one of those very trendy things and I'm like, I'm gonna keep around just to amuse myself, but I know I'll never wear this again in public. Okay, that Dior left some glitter behind, but let's move on. So the next question is, favorite warm toned lippy? Now, as I mentioned, I love warm toned lipsticks. So I'm gonna show you a combination here that's kind of my go-to. I'm gonna start off with a lip liner. This is the Chanel Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Rouge Tendre. It's a red, but it's a warm toned red. And then I go in with my Elisa Eldridge Velvet Morning. As you can see, this is super warm. I think for some people, a warm toned lip color could be very different. It could be something nudie that's a bit warm. But for me, when I think warm lip color, I think of this. I basically just think flaming orange red. That's just my taste and my personal preference. So as you can see, it's exactly that. It's a flaming orange red. I think for me, the warm toned lippy and the bold lippy could be interchangeable because I think this Velvet Morning and the Rouge Coco Arthur are basically in the same vein. I think this one's a little bit more turned up and more orange, and this one's a bit more satiny and more wearable for every day. So basically, these could be interchanged for each other, and I'm very happy with that. I love this type of flaming orange red lip when I'm wearing a more minimal makeup look, just like complexion with tons of mascara. I think a really bold lip pulls the whole look together without putting that much effort into it. Okay, so next up is favorite cool toned lip combo. So I think I would have to go into my Chantecai Lip Chic and Honeysuckle. This is definitely cool toned. It's not too cool though. It's kind of that perfect nude cool toned for me. So this would be my cool toned lip combination. I don't have a gloss or lip liner to go with. This is just kind of like my go-to cool toned look. It's nudie, but it's not too cool toned. Sometimes they have this sort of like milky pink undertone in them, which does not flatter my skin tone or my features, but this is the perfect cool toned my lips, but better. And I love this lip chic formula. It's so creamy and hydrating. It's basically like adding lip balm or chapstick into your lip color. Okay, next question is, what lipstick do you think looks great on others, but looks hideous on you? So I guess that would be overly cool toned pink lip colors. As I mentioned, I'm warm toned, I have warm features, so anything warm suits me well. Overly pink, milky white lip products just do not look good on me. They just are not that flattering. 
Um, they're, they look really great on other people, people who are cool toned, people who are more fair than I am. They look magnificent, but on me, it's just, it's a no. I think the closest I have to this sort of color I'm trying to describe is this MAC lipstick in Going Dutch. I think this lip color is an example of what I'm trying to describe. As you can see, this has this sort of frosty finish and it kind of gives me a bit of a Barbie vibe, like a pink frosty lip color, which again, looks really good on different people with different skin tones. But on me, it's not amazing. I don't think that this lip color here is the worst, but it's definitely in the category. And I feel like this lip color makes my teeth look yellow. Something about the pink, the white, the frost is just, it's not working for me. It's not my favorite. I will leave the pinky, cool-toned, frosted lip colors for other people. Okay, so next question is, what lipstick would I never wear in public? I think for me, this would have to be either like a black lipstick or a brown lipstick. I like nudey, warm tone colors, but there exist just plain old brown lipsticks and they're just not for me. I have plenty of friends who love them and who wear them and they look great on them, but those are just not the colors that I want to wear. I mean, I don't even think I own any of these lip colors. I think another color I would never wear in public is blue. I've seen blue, I've seen green lipsticks. Those are just not for me. They're for someone else. They can feel free to enjoy themselves. I will not be selling out green or blue or black or brown lipsticks, so I will let other people enjoy them, but they're not for me. Okay, so the next question is favorite go-to lip combo. So for this, I'm going to pick a liquid lipstick. This is from Chanel. This is the Le Rouge Ultra Tenue, and this is the shade Intense Caramel. It's kind of just that perfect nudie, your lip but better. Now, since this is a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss duo, I consider this a lip combination. So up here you have the lip color and on the bottom you have the lip gloss. This formula is very long wearing. It's waterproof. It's also mask resistant. So if you don't put the gloss on, it really will survive a mask. It will not budge. It won't smudge or smear. So this would be my go-to lip combination. And then the last question is, what lip product do you grab for a quick on the go lip color? So this was another one that was a no brainer. This for me is my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in number 82, Live or Live. This has been hands down one of my favorite colors for I think two years now. It's just so spectacular. It's a nude, but it's so amazing and it's so easy and quick to put on. This is the type of lip product you could put on without a mirror. You can reapply this throughout the day as a lip balm because there are these hydrating oils in the product here. It's super hydrating. It's so flattering. It's just one of those no brainers. Like it goes with everything. It's a nudie color that has a bit of pink, but it's a nice neutral. It's not too cool, not too warm. So it really just goes with any eye makeup or any makeup or outfit that I have on. This is the type of product that can live inside your purse and you can just throw on really quickly. So the second product in this category would be the Sean Sakai Lip Fail in Acacia. So this Sean Sakai lip formula 
legitimately just feels like a lip balm with some tint to it whereas the chanel one is more glossy so they're definitely different finishes this one is almost more natural i think this is a super easy and perfect on the go lip color especially because it has this moisturizing component so it will act like a lip balm throughout the day okay so that is it for the questions on the lippy tag i just want to go back on my favorite bold lip and add an honorable mention. This is the Elisa Eldridge lip gloss in Myth. I'm adding this in here in the bold lip category because while I do love a warm toned orange lip, I think it often goes in two directions, either a bold fiery orange red or this sort of dark berry color. While this is a dark berry, it also has a bit of brightness to it, which kind of just like lightens up your whole complexion and also makes your teeth look white. So if I'm going to wear a bold lip, it's either in these two directions here. So I just wanted to sneak this in here at the end. All right, guys, that is it for the lippy tag, talking about my favorite lip colors, the trends that I have fallen prey to. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. Feel free to answer along to the questions that I asked in today's video. What makeup trends did you fall prey to? What are your favorite on-the-go combinations? What's your favorite cool tone lipstick? Sound off in the comments section. Please make sure to go check out Yadi's video. I can't wait to see what she picked out because I think we might have some similarities, but we might also have two completely different lists. So I'm really excited to see what she picked out. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Also make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay guys, I think this is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.